Rachel, Hello. hi. hi. Uh, do you mind starting off telling us a bit about the film we're going to see tonight at yeah. the opening of Diff? Yeah, sure. So it's basically about a young, um, fearless activist turned slam poet who is Palestinian, uh, who is adored and reviled in equal measure. And late one night, after a particularly provocative new poem, she disappears. <laughs> That's it. That's what it's about. And it's about the impacts of that. How people deal with it. How her brother deals with it. How the investigating officer deals with it. How his wife deals with it. The ripple effects. Yeah. Okay, so what enticed you to be a part of this film? What were your thoughts when you first read the script? Well, Partha Sengupta, who's written it, his film that he did before this was called Sunrise. And it was in, uh, shot in Mumbai, and it's a beautiful film. And I was really struck by the way he had to manipulate what was real and what wasn't real. And a way the film very quietly bled into fantasy uh, and a dreamlike state. And he does that with Slam, and I was sort of really intrigued to see how he was going to do that. So partly it was Partha Sengupta's visual language that really interested me. Um, I hadn't seen this story before of this xenophobia, the, the, the idea of what if it's a Muslim girl that goes missing? What happens politically with that? Who uses that to further their own ends? Um, and it was the character's journey. I just love, I'm always attracted to what happens to a character. And Joanne Hendricks was uh, the, the sergeant I play investigates the disappearance. It was quite sort of damaged, really. And I, and I think life can do that to you. It, things can happen. And it's how you are in the face of it. And she ended up being quite a strong lady, despite losing her son a few years earlier. And I sort of, I sort of felt quite touched by it and wanted to do it. Yeah. Great. OK. <laughs> um, so now that the film is all said and done, what what do you feel that you carry with you from it? Well, you know, it's a funny thing. She, um, Joanne Hendricks, says, there's one line she says, but she says, I don't drink. And I did drink. And this sounds crazy, but I, I've always felt that I could tell when people don't drink. I always feel like there's a quality non-drinkers give off. And I thought, I'm going to give up drinking and get that quality. And so I did. I gave up drinking for a year before we started shooting. And I don't drink to this day. So one of the things that stuck with me is I'm now a non-drinker, which is like, I'm sure people go, oh my God, she's so boring. But actually, it's kind of great. So, and I often think these characters, there's detritus that sticks with you as you go through, and, and that stuck with me. I'm, I don't drink, so I've got crazy sparkling water tonight. It's cool, no hangovers. Beautiful, that's a good thing to come from it. Very healthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, great. Well, what... What made you ask that question? No one's ever asked me that question before. Uh, That's a fascinating well, question. I think it's with such strong themes and like these movies that make you think when you're an actor in that you're obviously even more involved and you must be thinking about it quite constantly. Mm. So I just wondered if some things carried away from that experience. What impact do you think this film can have on the social issues that it presents? I think what's quite cool about this film is, is it talks about something that is going on globally at the moment. And it's, I think, in politics especially, there, there appears to be a thinking of distrusting the other, whomever that is, the person that's different from you, we've got to distrust them, you know, Trump, I've got to build a wall, I've got to stop the Mexicans coming in, you know, that it's happening globally. And um, this film talks about that. It talks about the fear of the other, the judgments you make, and how you can actually, through your judgment, create someone in your mind as to whom you think they are. You know, we do it every day, we make snap judgments about people. And, and what I love about film is it has the ability to start conversations, you know, in the dark um, while it's unspooling in front of us. And I, and I hope, I really, because I, I hate this idea of division, 
uh, that we're developing, that we can develop if we go down this American path. Um, so I think it can do that. Uh, and uh, we'll see. Anyway, we'll see. You preempted my next question. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> um, which was... Yes. That film is such a great conversation yeah. starter and yeah. um, what importance and what role do you think it has in developing yeah. society? Yeah. Well, it's funny, isn't it? Because I, it's something I've always sort of struggled with, really, that acting's a bit of a flippity-gibbet sort of profession and, and you know, um, I've got a BA, but I can't build a house, you know. So I'm sort of quite useless, really, unless I'm acting. And I, I sort of... I, I suppose what I've come to think is is that um, you get to live all these different lives and, and life can be really difficult and sometimes it's great that you can come home and watch a movie and it can take you out of your life, take you out of whatever that awful thing is that happened. And so in a way I sort of view films as actually really important now because it gives us that sort of escape and the ability to see through somebody else's eyes you know it's, sometimes it's difficult to empathize with the other person because you don't know their experience but film can do that and I sort of I love that I can watch a Turkish film or, or um, you know any film from anywhere a French film I adore French films um, it, so you know I think it's important that we get to do that that we get to travel and leave ourselves you know, and just be in a conversation with someone. Because it's a one-sided conversation when you're watching it. But afterwards, you know, like the Q&A tonight, it'd be interesting to see what's stuck with people. Yeah, it's really interesting. I often think that the arts industry is very underplayed in its importance that it has on the way we interact and yeah. kind of, yeah, our opinions of the world and what that actually means for how we're treating each other and... Yeah all these really important things that are just part of life. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah. From, from your mouth to, to, to everybody, I totally agree with you. I just think, I just, in some ways I wish there was more importance in this country for the arts. Like, we need funding. Um, the arts sector continually needs help because we're a small country. And, and this is why it's so great about Deck Chair is this idea they have of furthering alternative cinema. Because what happens with, with, with commercial cin cinema is the stories are homogenized down to appeal to a mass market to make the most amount of money possible. You know, and, and then we... So anyway, that's what's great about deck chair. So, you know. Yeah. Okay. Stop myself. <laughs> okay. Banging <laughs> My last question is yes. just what are you making of Darwin so far and Darwin's yeah. screen culture? Yeah. Oh, look, I love it. It's, I think you can tell a lot about a place by its cinemas. And, and this one here, it's, I just love how inclusive it is. It's, I mean, we're going to get a sunset. It's out in all this beautiful greenery. And, and look at the vibe that's being created here. You know, the ambience is incredible. Um, I, I just I love it. I, I'm fascinated to see how it goes. You know, how the film goes in this vibe. It's really cool. Beautiful place. Great. Well, thank you for uh -huh. chatting with me tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing the film yeah, later. Great. great. Thank you.